Hello learners. Uh, in the previous lecture, we had seen how to plot the Winrow's diagram for the type one. So once we have got that uh, that particular direction is the one where we have to plot our runway. What is the next step that we are supposed to? We'll see that in this lecture, right? So from our previous understanding, uh, this is a runway what we had got, right? Finally, finally we came to a conclusion whichever is the longest path that is now. If you look in this particular diagram, the purple color, so this west northwest to this east, what we have, no? Okay, if we'll consider here, this is east. Okay, yeah. So this is the place where I'm going to orient my runway. Fine. So once you're going to do the orientation of the runway, you need to check the wind coverage. So what is? That? Let us say the here I'm going to do the runway. Now this runway, what you have put, no? It is here. It is. in contact i mean here it is exposed to this northwest direction also and also the west direction also right this west is also coming it's not that exactly from west northwest uh, your wind is going to come even from the some part of wind from the west and some part from the northwest is also blowing here similarly if you come here some part of east east northeast and also some past part of east southeast of the wind is also coming here so we need to take that into consideration and we have to check whether the wind coverage what we are getting is more than 95% or not right yeah so how do you do all those things so the total coverage in all the direction is 88% that is if we refer this particular table what we had seen no you can see at the end here what is written 88% so total percentage in each direction is 88% so where is the remaining 12% gone the remaining 12% is below Six six kilometer per hour. That means you can see the graph here. No, this is a percentage of the time. It is starting from six to twenty five. This is the speed of a wind. Then we have twenty five to fifty and fifty to eighty. But below six, whatever is there, no, like five, four, and all. Let us say that is not shown here. So since it is not shown here, that is a missing one. So hence that twelve percent loss. What you can see from here, only eighty eight is seen. That twelve percent, whatever is there, no, that is below the six percent. And we call that particular thing as the calm period that remaining what we have no the 12% it is called as a calm period right now what we are supposed to do the therefore from our understanding the best orientation is which one west northwest and east now as i mentioned even this part and this part is going to contribute right so that is the thing wind coverage will be which is equal to sum of we'll take all these things this from here also your wind is coming right so this west i have to take i'm taking west then i'm take i'll take west northwest right and then i'll take northwest and if you come here this is east right so i'm writing east here east and let us say this part this part that is east of southeast also is contributing to this runway and east east of northeast is also contributing to runway right along with that you have to add calm period also why is that you have to add calm period see we have not taken the wind speed which is less than 6 km per hour but practically that wind speed will be there isn't it practically when you put a runway here that wind will be coming since it is very small in the magnitude and it is not going to disrupt my orientation and all so that is why we are not showing it in the table but practically it will be there so that that is the reason we will consider that also right yeah so now you try to add so how do you get all these things it's very simple now for example let us say west is the direction right now come here in this table okay we don't have to look into this table okay forget about this table because if we are doing a type 1 in the type 1 this is not required so now first is which one west direction right so come here in the west direction check what is the value given so this is west for me so come here what is given here for the west 4 is given that is the reason i have written 4 here next come here west northwest where is my west northwest let me remove it out yeah this is my west northwest and corresponding to that what is my uh, total percentage it is 10.75 so written 10.75 next is which one next is northwest come here where is my northwest northwest is here below this so it is 6.92 sorry it is 7. Point, uh, yeah 7.30 so i have written 7.30 the next one what we have is east so come to the east direction so for the east it is 4.30 i have written 4.30 here the next one is east of southeast so east of southeast till yeah it is here only east of southeast it is 10.15 i have written 10.15 the last two is east east of northeast so east of northeast is here 
So the value is 2.85. I have written 2.85. And last is a comp rate. The comp rate is how much? 12%. Try to add it. So if you try to all add all these things, no, your value should get your value should be more than 95%. But here we are getting just 51.35, which is less than 95%. So this is the wind coverage what we had seen in the uh, earlier two lectures. Because whenever you try to put the runway, most of the time the wind coverage should be more than 95%. But here, what is happening? 51.35 is less than 95%. So what is the practical application of this? That means if I orient by runway here in this direction, that is west, northwest and east, then only 51.35% my wind is not, my wind is will be within that 25 uh, kilometer per hour range and remaining 50 times and remaining 45, let us say 50 is, <coughs> 50 is covered here, right? So 95 minus 51, let us say at least um, another 45 I'm getting 45 percentage of the time that 25 kilo newton per meter <coughs> 25 kilo newton per kilometer per hour speed is going to get exceeded right so that means if I put this runway in in this in this way then what will happen the crosswind the 25 percent crosswind component what we have that will get ex exceeded so that is the reason I cannot put my runway in this direction so what is the alternative to that the alternative to that will be you have to put another runway that is a parallel runway one is this one right and the remaining time remaining time you have to put one more runway let us say somewhere in this direction so remaining period of your of the year you can try to make use of this particular runway right so in this way we can make use of this particular um, answer and come to a conclusion which is the best way to do the orientation otherwise you have to try to change the orientation so that let us say you are going to put somewhere in this direction that is north of northeast and south of southwest then once you're done with this try to see what is the answer you're getting like we did here and finally if you're getting answer here once you add all these things the calm period and all if it is more than 95 percent only then we can say that this particular runway is suitable and here the wind coverage is more than 95 percent and uh, we don't have issue with that just in case if it is if that is not happening then you have to think of parallel runway where few part of the year few months of year you are going to orient the runway here that means you are allowing your aircraft to land and do the takeoff operation here throughout the year out throughout the year let us say at least for six months and remaining six months you are going to keep another runway let us say in this direction okay and here you are going to do the takeoff and the runway for the remaining six months so in this way we have to plan so this is called as parallel runway so based on this things we are going to come to a conclusion how we are to do the orientation of the runway and all right so i hope you have got an idea about uh, how these things has to be understood in the previous lecture we had seen that the best part uh, the best way is to orient in west northwest and east and after that we have to do this calculation so that whatever we had studied if i go back yeah we had seen about the wind coverage right it was written here the percentage of a time in a year during which the crosswind component remains within the limit of 25 km per hour is called as wind coverage of the runway so we should make sure it is within 95 percent so that is why we have done this calculation to make sure whether it is less than 95 percent right yeah so in the next lecture we'll try to see wind coverage uh, i mean the part two or the method two and we'll try to understand how it has to be done